I just got this iCamper SkyCamp Mini 3 for my Rivian R1T. It's a hard shell rooftop tent, and I'm really excited to be using this on future adventures. But I was wondering one thing as I was installing this tent, and that was how much is this going to affect my efficiency and range? So in this video, I'm going to do a few tests, one without the rooftop tent, one with the rooftop tent, and another where I modified the aerodynamics of the spoiler with a pretty surprising result. Let's get started. The very first part of this test was to pick a route, and I chose a starting location at an Electrify America charging station so I could leave with the same charge. It's a highway route out and back, so it eliminates any variables such as wind or hills. I also charged at the same speed at the same charger for both tests, which again, just keeps things as similar as possible. And making sure I kept all conditions the same within the vehicle, I kept the HVAC at 70 degrees, the fan on one the whole time. Within the drive modes, I kept the vehicle in conserve. The ride, brake regen, and stability were all the same for both tests. And I also kept the ride height the same on low for both tests. And finally, I made sure I charged up to exactly 70% before I left on each route. So once that charge was up to 70%, obviously with no crossbars or rooftop tent in the back, it was time to start the first test. So once I was on the highway, I set the adaptive cruise to 65, stayed in the slow lane and made sure I kept that speed the whole time. I also took note of the weather just to make sure it was generally the same for both of these tests. All right, so finishing up this first test, I was really impressed with the numbers. The efficiency is actually quite a bit higher than the EPA estimate. Granted, this is highway driving, but still pretty impressive. So once you calculate out the efficiency based on the size of the battery, my total range under these driving conditions should be about 320 miles. Now, if I quickly go on to the Rivian website and look at the truck, it's got a 135 kilowatt battery and the EPA estimated range is 314, which is pretty close to that number. But that is with the aerodynamic on-road wheels and tires. If you select the wheels and tires that I'm running on my truck, it says there could be up to a 40 mile range hit. So even with these off-road tires on my truck, it's still getting very, very good efficiency. So starting the second test, again, charged up to 70%. Obviously I had the iCamper mounted to the back of the truck on the truck bed for this one. And based on the fact that this is a hard shell tent and has a pretty aerodynamic profile, I really wasn't sure what the results were gonna be for this second test. So weather conditions were essentially the same on this drive, which was great. Also, I did make sure my tire pressure was the same for all tests. I didn't even them out, but it was the same number for all the tests that I ran. Just got back to the starting point here, the Electrify America station where this out and back route started, and we've got the final results for this test. So there you have it with the eye camper on the back, even though it's got that hard shell and looks pretty aerodynamic, it is a bit of an efficiency hit. And again, if I take that efficiency number that we have and calculate out the total range, it's 289 miles, which is still great. But with this test, about a 30 mile total range difference between the two. The impressive thing to me is that the range with the eye camper on the back is still more than the EPA estimate for these wheels and tires. 
Now that being said, a 30 mile overall range hit is quite a bit, and there was one other thing that I wanted to try to see if it would make a difference. So I'm at home here, just had finished up editing that second test, and I gotta say I'm a little surprised at how much of a range hit it was with the rooftop tent on the back. I really was expecting with the profile where the spoiler is and the rooftop tent is, that it wouldn't have been as bad as it was. But there's one thing with the spoiler that I was looking at that may be affecting this. And you can see there's two pretty big outlets on the underside of the spoiler that let air through. And I think when there's no tent on there, the air is being driven down onto the tonneau cover. And it's probably pretty aerodynamic. But right now with the tent on there, those pass-throughs are just dumping air directly into the rooftop tent. So I'm gonna try a little something here and see if maybe we can get a little bit different result. All right, these are not some sweet racing stripes. I'm actually trying to close out that pass through on the spoiler. And let's see if this actually changes the result for this test. So I went back to the same charging station to run the route one more time one cool thing that did happen, I saw the new Amazon delivery van and this thing looks pretty rad in person, I will say. So I ran that same out and back route. The conditions were very similar. It was nighttime, but the temperature, wind, all of that was basically the same as the previous tests. And getting back to the starting location with this crazy taped up spoiler, looking at the numbers, it actually helped quite a bit and even more than I thought it would. So here are the numbers from that modified spoiler test. And if you take the efficiency again and multiply it by the battery capacity as we did in previous tests, the total range is 305 miles. This puts it in between the baseline and just running the rooftop tent alone and it adds 16 miles of total range just by making this slight modification. Now, am I going to run my truck with tape over the spoiler? The answer is no, but the result from this test was so compelling. I'm actually gonna to try to develop a 3D printed part that I can insert into this area because the impact to range was so significant. Well, that sums up the question of how much your efficiency and range could change with a rooftop tent on your Rivian R1T. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for lots of awesome content coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching, everyone.